Have you ever thought about starting a business, but you have no money to fund it? Well, you're in the right place because here's five business ideas that you can start with no money. What's good, everybody? It's Vaughn, and you know, this is where you get that knowledge that you don't get in college. So go ahead and scroll into the description, click the link next to Evil, and collect your 12 free stocks. When I started out on my journey, I accumulated a wealth of knowledge from YouTube, podcasts, and reading books. It helped me learn a lot about business credit and how I could leverage it to fund any business idea. But that's not what this video is about. This video is for those of you that are trying to get to that level. You're trying to accumulate more resources so that you can fix your credit or create your LLC so that you can establish business credit. So I'll be sharing with you a few business ideas that you can start with no money. Number one, you can sell things that you get for free or the things that are just laying around your house that have no use to you anymore. And you might be wondering, where am I going to get stuff for free? Well, that's the easy part. You can look on Craigslist for items people are selling for free or just roam around your neighborhood and you might see that people are throwing away an old TV or an old couch or old furniture and those things still have value. They can be resold. You just have to find the right buyer. And there could be a multitude of reasons why people are throwing them away, but that doesn't matter. Some of the stuff that people are throwing away could possibly be in a pristine condition, but they don't feel like putting the time or energy into reselling the item. And that creates an opportunity for you. And I'm sure you have stuff laying around the house that you don't use at all and it still has value. Well, I'm letting you know that there's someone out there that's willing to buy it. All you have to do is list that item for sale. The worst thing that can happen is that you won't sell it and you'll be stuck with it. But that won't cost you anything. Number two, you can start in an event planning business. First, you'd have to think of a type of event where you know you can bring a lot of people. And then you would have to reach out to the local event space owners in your area. And then you would have to sell them on your idea and convince them to rent you out the space for free. And the way that they'll generate a revenue from this event is through the products and services that are sold during the event. Depending on the type of event, the products and services will vary. Number three, sell t-shirts. And you might be thinking, I thought you said I'm going to start a business with no money. Well, listen here. I'm going to give you two different approaches when it comes to this one. If you're a college student, I'm sure you've noticed that a lot of the organizations like to give out free shirts, but they're definitely not getting those shirts for free. They have to pay a fee and you could be the solution to their problem. So you'll just have to do a little bit of research and see where you could get shirts printed in bulk for a reasonable price. Even if you're making $1 per shirt, that is going to add up over time and you're not coming out of pocket anything because what you'd be doing is reaching out to all the organizations on campus and letting them know that you're a student on campus that's starting a t-shirt business and you can sell them the shirts for cheaper than what they're currently purchasing the shirts for. so that way you're creating a win-win they'll be saving a few bucks while they're supporting a young entrepreneur that currently attends their campus for the second approach we're going to use the internet of things so go ahead and go to google type in teespring and click this link once you get to the website, you're going to scroll over to start creating and then click the link. And it'll take you to this page where you're able to see the list of different products that you're able to sell on this website. So you have t shirts, mugs, hoodies, glass cups, blankets, long sleeve tea, knit caps, as well as pickleball paddle set, bomber jacket trucker hat and there's a variety of other items that you can sell on this website as well you can also go to the other tabs and look at all of the other accessories and home decor there's pillows and other things that you can set on sell on this website but the way that this website works is that you'll create a logo you'll attach it to whatever item you want to sell and then it provides you with a link where others can click on that link and order that product so you have no inventory on hand. And if they order that product through your link, then the item will be shipped to them and you will receive a portion of the sales fee. The amount that you make is different for each item that you sell, but it's all listed out on the website. Number four, social media management. You'd be surprised how many small businesses don't have a social media presence. And that's because a lot of the older generation 
isn't very technologically savvy. Even though for us, it's second nature because we grew up in this age where social media and having an online presence was an integral part of our childhood, it's not the same for them. So you could go around to the local small businesses and analyze their social media presence. And at first, they may not understand why your service is beneficial to their company. So at first, you could provide your service for free. And if they like the results that they're receiving, then you can have them pay you a monthly consultation fee on an ongoing basis. Number five, do services. And here's four that you can do with no money. Pull weeds, rake leaves, walk the dog, and tutor kids. In order to start, all you have to do is go around the neighborhood, knock on their doors, and introduce yourself. And let them know that you're one of their neighbors, then inform them of the services that you provide and leave your contact information so that they can contact you if they're interested. Is it gonna be easy? No. All things are hard before they get easy. But if you get started, then you will get better. And the process will help you develop as an individual. Wait, 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 wait. I know I told you five, but here's a bonus. Google Maps. I know I mentioned social media marketing, but there's a lot of small companies that don't have their company listed on Google Maps. And you can help them get their company listed on Google Maps for a reasonable fee. It's 2023. So if a company isn't listed on Google Maps, then they're missing out on a ton of business. So that would be a great way for you to earn an extra few bucks while you're helping other small business owners grow their business. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, this video is just for those of you that are just starting out and you're trying to get to the next level. Now, these are just some ideas. There are a ton of other ideas that you could use in order to start a business without any money out of pocket. But this is just going to help you get to that next level where you're starting to apply for business credit and you're creating your LLC so that you're getting business funded and you're able to accelerate your finances because with business credit, you'll get approved for lines of credits that are around 20 to 30,000. And that's more than enough for you to start or grow a business. So I hope you actually take heed to this information and put it to use. A wise man once said, if there's a lot to gain and a little to lose, why not try? With that said, you might as well just give it a try. If you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments below. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so that you're notified every time I make a new post. Until next time.